Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. D. Outstanding. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Ooh, we have one right here. It's a complicated beer. Let me tell you about it. It's from the Fat Orange Brewing Company. Now, they're contract brewed by 12% Brewery out of North Haven, Connecticut. And let me read this, if I can. <laughs> she drives <laughs> She drives a second-generation four-door Plymouth satellite. Ooh, that's a mouthful. That's what it says. I wouldn't make that up. Yeah, this is described as a New England-style double IPA that checks in at a whopping 8.5% alcohol by volume. And the date stamp says it's 182 days old. Woo wee, that's six months, baby. But it's okay. It's a New England style IPA. It's been in my refrigerator since the day I bought it. It's all good. And we're going to use this lovely glassware. Oh, isn't that nice? That's a lovely glassware for an IPA. Oh, yeah. It's got an etched bottom. So that means if you pour this beer straight in, you better beware because it's going to make a lot of foam. So you always want to tilt the glass, and then you can straighten it out. But even if you even if you do that, it's still going to build up that foam. You see that? Oh man, ooh wee! It's got a lot of tropical fruit in it. It's got some grapefruit. I can tell you that much. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That's a perfect pour. Now, if I go in a, in a beer bar, that's the way I want my beer poured. I don't want that right up to the top with no foam. Get out of town with that. I'm going to say, what is that? Take that back. And that's not what I ordered. The grapefruit permeates this beer right here. Hey, I'm going to drink this beer. But before I do, I got to thank whoever came up with the recipe for this brewery. Yeah, for this beer, rather, at the uh, Fat Orange Cat Brewery. I got to thank all the brewers at the 12% Brewery in North Haven, Connecticut, for bringing this to market. And I have to thank everybody at home for watching. Cheers. Ooh, wait. See, that uh, six months does not affect the beer. Man, that's got some pungent aroma of grapefruit, and the flavor to beat. Ooh-wee, the flavor to boot, baby. Just lovely tropical fruits in the background there, too. Some uh, passion fruit and some melon. This is a decent drinking beer. This is very nice. Now, see, this would have been a good beer to drink in the dog days of August here. When it was 90-plus degrees every single day and the humidity was 100%, this would have been a good beer to sit out on the patio with and watch the sunset over the lake. But I missed out. What can I tell you? I was busy. Give me a break. Now, this beer, I didn't tell you, did pour out a rather hazy color, a golden color. This is a medium body beer. And it's got a lot of grapefruit in. Now, if you don't like uh, that grapefruit aroma and flavor in your beer, you're probably not going to like this. But it's a very decent beer. It's got some nice head here on the beer, leaving some nice lacing on the side of the glassware. Or 8.5% is very smooth and easy drinking. I tell you what, though, uh, Fat Orange Cat comes up with some interesting names for its beer. That is a long name. I don't know if I can fit that entire thing on the title of my beer review, but I'm going to try. Some interesting artwork as well. Yeah, I think these guys have been drinking a little too much out of the tank there when they do these uh, when they do this artwork. But that's cool. That's what beer is for. Beer is to enjoy, my friends. I tell you what. Uh, what did uh, our good buddy say? He said, and I, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about Benjamin Franklin. He said, beer is proof that God loves us. That's what he said. Oh, Ben.
Yeah, old Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, you know what? He was the only one that was smart enough not to become president, right? Got his uh, picture all over the money there. Yeah, he didn't become president. He was smart. Tell you what, man, you would never guess this is 8.5%. You would never guess it in a million years. It's a very beautiful looking beer. I like beer like this. Yeah, I like beer like this. Now, this is not going to be for everybody. Again, um, a lot of people say, well, why do you want to drink a beer that, that tastes like grapefruit or passion fruit or you know, pineapple or melon? And well, I tell you what, those flavors are not right up front in your face. They're kind of off in the distance. And this beer finishes rather dry. So it lets you know this is a craft beer because this is not your daddy's beer or your granddaddy's beer. Uh, this is a modern beer. Yeah, this is a modern tasting beer. Hey, with that said, remember life is short. Try new things. Be happy. And that includes drinking a beer like this right here. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.